The landscape of robotics has undergone a dramatic transformation in recent years. What once seemed like science fiction, humanoid robots performing meaningful work alongside humans, has rapidly become reality. While these mechanical beings were previously relegated to demonstration stages and tech showcases, they're now stepping into hospitals, security facilities, shipyards, and industrial sites around the world. Healthcare robotics takes center stage. The pandemic has taken a toll on nurses across the country, and many say they're still feeling the effects. Now, one CEO says she has a solution, robots. The most compelling advancement comes from an unexpected collaboration between technology giants Foxconn, NVIDIA, and Kawasaki, who have developed an AI-powered nursing assistant called Neurobot. This sophisticated machine represents a quantum leap beyond simple hospital equipment that merely wheels around corridors carrying supplies. Neurobot possesses genuine cognitive capabilities that set it apart from previous healthcare automation attempts. The robot demonstrates advanced perception systems, autonomous navigation, natural language processing, and perhaps most importantly, the ability to learn and adapt its behavior over time. This isn't just programmed responses, it's genuine artificial intelligence applied to patient care. The development partnership with Taiwan's Taichung Veterans General Hospital ensures that Neurobot addresses real-world healthcare challenges rather than theoretical problems. The robot tackles three critical issues plaguing modern healthcare systems. Severe labor shortages, the need for continuous patient monitoring, and widespread caregiver burnout. The robot's capabilities extend far beyond basic assistance. Neurobot continuously monitors patient vital signs, provides physical support for patient mobility, handles meal and medication delivery, and offers companionship to patients who might otherwise feel isolated. What makes this particularly impressive is the robot's proactive intelligence. It doesn't simply wait for commands, but processes vast amounts of real-time data through NVIDIA's AI platform. When patient vitals show concerning patterns, Neurobot immediately flags potential issues for human medical staff. The system learns individual patient behaviors and preferences, adjusting its care routines accordingly. If a patient typically needs assistance at specific times or requires help with positioning during sleep, the robot incorporates these patterns into its care protocols. This intelligence stems from sophisticated high-resolution sensors, advanced natural language processing capabilities, and autonomous navigation systems that allow the robot to move safely through complex hospital environments. Early trial results indicate strong acceptance from both medical staff and patients. Nurses appreciate how the robot handles repetitive tasks, freeing them to focus on complex medical decisions and emotional support that require human judgment. Patients report feeling more secure knowing they have constant assistance available. While Foxconn hasn't released comprehensive technical specifications, NVIDIA's involvement suggests this represents the beginning of a much larger initiative. With global populations aging rapidly and healthcare systems under increasing pressure, Robots like Neurobot may soon become standard members of medical care teams. Security and service applications. Singapore's approach to humanoid robotics demonstrates a more cautious, but equally significant development path. Certus, a major security services provider, has introduced their first humanoid robot developed by Agility Robotics. Though they're positioning it as an extensive research project rather than immediate deployment, this robot isn't yet patrolling shopping centers or managing access control systems. Instead, Certus is conducting thorough evaluations for potential applications in building security, customer service, and facilities management. This measured approach reflects the company's experience with robotic systems. They've already successfully deployed autonomous surveillance units and utilized service robots during pandemic response efforts. However, this marks their first venture into humanoid robotics designed for direct human interaction. The robot can walk naturally, engage in conversations, provide assistance, and potentially integrate with Certus's existing orchestration platform called Mozart, which coordinates security, maintenance, and customer service operations across their facilities. Certus explicitly states their intention isn't immediate human replacement, but rather understanding how humanoid robots can enhance existing systems, work collaboratively with human staff, and improve service quality without creating public concern or operational disruptions. 
This thoughtful, controlled rollout strategy makes particular sense in Singapore, a nation that has embraced robotics and automation more readily than many other countries. Industrial applications and major investments, the industrial robotics sector is experiencing unprecedented investment and development activity. Persona AI recently secured $27 million in pre-seed funding, a remarkable achievement that reflects serious investor confidence in their approach and team credentials. The company's founders bring impressive backgrounds from NASA robotics programs, with leadership including Nick Radford from Nauticus Robotics and Jerry Pratt from Figure AI. This isn't a startup built on hype and promises. These are experienced robotics professionals with proven track records in developing functional robotic systems. Persona AI focuses specifically on demanding industrial applications that pose significant challenges for human workers. Their target environments include shipbuilding facilities, large-scale manufacturing operations, and outdoor industrial sites where robots need genuine strength, dexterity, and durability, rather than just impressive appearances. The company's robots are engineered to handle physically demanding tasks with human-like agility while maintaining heavy-duty durability necessary for industrial environments. Their mission addresses three critical business needs, filling persistent labor shortages, improving workplace safety, and providing companies with upgrade paths that don't require massive upfront capital investments. To achieve this accessibility, Persona AI promotes a robotics-as-a-service model. Instead of purchasing expensive robotic systems outright, Companies can rent the capabilities they need while Persona handles maintenance, updates, and technical support. This isn't merely theoretical planning. Persona AI has already secured a deployment agreement with HD Hyundai, the world's largest shipbuilding company. The plan involves deploying humanoid robots in shipyard operations, with initial rollouts scheduled within 18 months. This timeline demonstrates the practical readiness of their technology rather than distant future possibilities. Rugged Outdoor Robotics RoboForce has launched Titan, an industrial robot specifically designed for harsh outdoor environments that most robots and many human workers prefer to avoid. Target applications include mining operations, solar farm installations in extreme weather conditions, large-scale manufacturing floors, and potentially even off-world construction projects. Titan comes in two primary configurations, a wheeled version for smoother surfaces and a tracked variant capable of handling rough or uneven terrain. The modular design allows operators to swap bases and attachments based on specific job requirements, providing flexibility similar to specialized construction equipment. The robot's AI integration isn't superficial. Artificial intelligence is woven directly into every hardware component. This tight co-optimization enables Titan to learn continuously adapt to changing conditions, and handle environments where operational parameters shift throughout the day. Titan specifications demonstrate serious industrial capability. The robot achieves one millimeter precision in object manipulation, accuracy typically found only in laboratory robotics, but delivered in outdoor environments. It can lift and move items weighing up to 40 kilograms, providing genuine heavy lifting capability. The robot's arm extends 2,000 millimeters, sufficient for handling large, awkwardly shaped materials common in industrial settings. Perhaps most importantly for practical deployment, Titan operates for full eight-hour shifts on single battery charges, matching or exceeding human worker endurance. RoboForce's strategic approach focuses on mastering five fundamental actions, pick, place, press, twist, and connect. Rather than developing countless specialized programs, they're perfecting these core movements that underlie most industrial tasks. Whether installing solar panels, performing electrical assembly, or moving equipment, most jobs reduce to combinations of these basic actions. With recent funding bringing their total to $15 million, RoboForce is expanding operations in Silicon Valley, growing their development team, and establishing advanced testing facilities. The company is already working with real clients through pilot programs spanning manufacturing to space technology with additional deployments planned throughout the coming year. Advanced Control Systems Carnegie Mellon University researchers have developed Falcon, a control framework addressing one of robotics' most challenging problems, forceful loco manipulation. This involves simultaneously walking and using arms to apply strong, precise force. Tasks like pulling carts, opening heavy doors, 
or lifting substantial loads that humans perform naturally, but robots find extremely difficult. Falcon operates through dual AI agents, one controlling legs, another managing arms, that share real-time data continuously. This separation allows humanoid robots to maintain balance while applying significant force with their hands, something previously nearly impossible to achieve reliably. Testing on Unitree G1 and Boston Dynamics robots produced impressive results. The system handled real-world disruptions, including unpredictable forces, shifting loads, and awkward angles. Test robots applied up to 100 newtons of force, roughly 30% of their body weight, without losing balance or precision. Falcon improved arm accuracy by 100% compared to previous control methods. The framework does have limitations. It struggles with rotational tasks like turning handles or using tools requiring torque. It also doesn't account for forces applied to body parts other than hands, so techniques like leaning or pushing with other body parts aren't yet supported. However, it represents substantial progress toward making humanoid robots truly capable in unpredictable, real-world environments. The broader transformation. This rapid evolution across multiple robotic sectors indicates a fundamental shift in how these technologies are being developed and deployed. Companies are securing actual deployment contracts rather than just demonstration opportunities. Governments are supporting pilot programs with real budgets and timelines. Startups receive funding based on practical utility rather than flashy presentations. Robots are successfully entering jobs previously considered too complex, dangerous, or expensive to automate, and they're doing so faster than most industry observers predicted. The question is no longer whether humanoid robots will become commonplace in various industries, but how quickly they'll transition from supporting human workers to potentially managing entire operational processes independently. This transformation represents more than technological advancement. It's a fundamental reimagining of how work gets done across healthcare, security, manufacturing, and countless other sectors. The robots emerging today aren't just tools, they're the foundation of tomorrow's automated workforce.